Standing up vlogging is the new sitting down. I'll tell you that thing. The month that's just gone is um, June, as I believe. That's the way months tend to work uh, in order. And a lot of stuff has happened in June. And this is a sort of little capsule, like a little time capsule that I'm showing to the world. Not in the sense that you bury it in the ground and forget it and embed it in a hundred years for your family to look at. This is going to be around for... It's, not, it's nothing like a time capsule, this is just a regular video, let's just get on with it really. First things first, I'm not the realist, but I did have to retake my maths exam. It's June the 8th today, and I have uh, just done my my last exam. Uh, so, I'm free, I'm a free man. You know, maths, I've been, I've had a struggle with it since birth, you know. It's been a long, long, hard struggle since the very dawn of my existence. Um, so, you know, we haven't got a great relationship. You know, I try and see maths whenever I can, but, you know, they've been shutting me out recently, and I'm trying to reach out. Where is this going? Anyway. I am discalculate, uh, which if you don't know, means I'm really rubbish at maths. And um, I, I just, I'm retaking my maths GCSE about six times now, and I haven't passed it yet. So it will be interesting to see what the result of this uh, exam is, won't it? What's going on? And what's going to happen with our loved one? And, and what's going to happen with us? I don't really know. And if that has ever happened to you, you, you know, you, you barely breathe for a moment. Your, your heart pounds with fear. So I listen to, well recently I've been listening to a lot of um, French crooners, I think that's the word. It's a type of like sort of jazzy French music. One of the most noticeable songs that you might have heard is from the film Inception. You might have seen it before, very good film. What I like about it, uh, the French, the French music, is that because it's in French, I don't speak French, I don't know what they're saying, obviously, and there's something about that that, you know, you can't, I can't understand what the meaning about the song is, I can understand from the, you know, the way they're singing it, I can get an idea of what they're singing about. What I like is sort of making up a meaning for it, and sort of, you know, trying to imagine what they, they would be saying. And that's what I do, I sort of, you know, listen to French music and stare at our windows all the time. So, um, yeah. Quand on a que l'amour à s'offrir en partage un jour du grand voyage. Que... I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's going to survive a nuclear war, we know it's just going to keep going, don't you? Um, I'm going to be finishing the second to last year of my school in um, about a week and a half. And then it's going to be summer holidays and then I'll have one more year of school. And then I'm, I'm going to go places and I don't know what's going to happen. There's a lot of endings in life that 
you know, always prepared for. The way I've looked at it quite recently, actually, is that, that you know, when, when you're reading through a book, there's chapters in it, obviously. And you always finish a chapter. But the book doesn't end there. There's always a new chapter. There's always a new beginning. And whilst it might seem scary at the end of a chapter, like it's left on a cliffhanger, and you don't know what's going to happen, it always gets better, or it's always resolved in the next chapter. So, if you're having a bad chapter, it doesn't mean it's a bad book. The thing you've got to look out for is the end of the book. But then there might be a trilogy, you know, could be a series. Just make sure it's not Twilight. Weightless shampoo. Hmm. Oh, no. That's got weight to it. Well, that's a lie. So I'm growing up. That's the harsh truth. No one wants to grow up. It's a terrible, terrible trap. But um, in doing so, in growing up, you have to do things. You can't just stay the same forever. You've got to change and find new things. And one of those new things is universities. And I have been going around a lot of... Well, I say a lot of... I've been around two university open days so far, which is more than most people, actually. It's been very interesting, uh, possibly looking at doing uh, a media production course, whether that be film or just digital media, but all very, very interesting stuff, and um, just interesting to see what the future is going to be like for me. This is the next step in my life that I'm, I'm going to be doing, so um, this is a nice little sort of window into what's going to happen, so uh, that's all very cool. <laughs> I've also been uh, on some work experience, that was uh, last week, <clears throat> and um, interestingly enough I had a little visitor badge which I got to wear at my work experience, and about halfway through the week, uh, on the Thursday I think it was, uh, I got given a volunteer badge. So that was, a, that was quite a nice surprise, I, I kind of got like a little self-promotion halfway through the week, they said you've been here long enough, you've done, done some nice work, have a volunteer badge, you're not visiting anymore. You, you've stayed too long to visit, you're volunteering now. I was like, well that's nice. Uh, so, work experience week over, and I say it's over, but it's only just the beginning because this is now when my life is going to happen. That was just a taster of what's really going to happen, so um, it's not over, not at all. Scary stuff, really. Things changing. What do we know about the future? Nothing. You can learn from the past, act in the moment. The future is up to you. And now I've finished school, nice and early. Um, I've got one more year left of it. And that's terrifying. That's really, really, really scary. Um, I'm never going to have that school atmosphere again. One more year of it and then that's it. Um, so I'm just going to definitely make the most of it. I'm not going to take anything for granted. There's so much more for me to learn in this next year coming. And this isn't it yet. This isn't the final notes. This isn't the last page. I've still got a nice little end chapter to finish on. So, um, yeah. Let's see how it goes. Nous aurons dans nos mains, amis, le monde entier.